Paris is practically shut down this morning, including iconic landmarks like the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre Museum. As the city deals with massive protests, shops boarded up with police setting up barricades. ABC's foreign correspondent James Longman joins us this morning from Paris. James, already a lot of activity today. So this is the fourth weekend of protest. Thousands of people have come down onto uh, the streets of the Champs-Élysées. And basically, it's a back and forth between police over there, people trying to throw projectiles and tear gas coming at us here. What some of the protesters are doing, picking up that tear gas and throwing it back at police. These aren't the numbers we saw. These aren't the numbers we saw last weekend, but it's still early and things are certainly uh, heating up. It's, as a precaution, the French authorities have closed a number of landmarks. So the Eiffel Tower, the Arc de Triomphe, which of course was a major uh, focus of the of the uh, of the violence last weekend, uh, and the Louvre, other areas have been shut down, and they've been taking things off protesters to make sure that they aren't in a position to attack police. It's rowdy, they're screaming, Macron démission, they want Macron, the president, to quit. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.